Welcome back to the Black Bear Insider. Time now for our Student Athlete of the Week, and we're going to talk a little field hockey today. Joining us now is Holly Stewart from the Field Hockey Program, the America East Rookie of the Year last year. Congratulations on that. Thank you very much. How was it to, uh, did you think you were having that good of a freshman season to be named the Rookie of the Year, or was that even kind of in your mindset? Uh, honestly, being a freshman, there's no pressure. I am, I'm from Canada. We didn't do as many like stats as you guys do. There's not as much em emphasis on sports um, in general in high school. So I came in with... Um, you know, I didn't feel any pressure at all, so it was really good. <laughs> it's probably really good, too, that you're not feeling a lot of pressure. You can just yeah. kind of go out and play and perform exactly. and do what you do best. It's kind of unexpected to get that, but I was really glad. Yeah, what was it, I mean, did you kind of think, or coaches tell you that, hey, you've got a really good season going, or did you, do you even pay attention to stats, I mean, if you don't do that many? Um, I mean, I heard a bit from my teammates and stuff, so, and you check the websites once in a while, but uh, there's no point in focusing on it, you know. What's your strongest part of your game? What's the what's the, your your biggest strength? Um, I'm a really hard worker. I'm always back checking, um, and then I also like to con uh, contribute on offense as well, scoring. <laughs> Everybody likes to do that, right? Yeah. That's the fun part. Exactly. Um, and you've had a chance to play with the Canadian national team. What's happened like? Yeah, um, I'm playing on the U21 Canadian national team. Um, it's it's been a great experience. I've improved so much. We've been tr we train like the whole summer two times a day, three times a day. Um, and it's also nice to get um, international experience. Where have you gone so far? What kind of trips have you taken? Oh, Where have you played? Okay, so this summer I went to Argentina, Germany, Holland, Belgium, Spain, uh, and Mexico, so. You're pretty, uh, a lot of stamp, stamps in your passport now, huh? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's getting filled up. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, having never been able to play at a level like that, how do you get noticed for a national team? I mean, is it something you, like, is there an Olympic development program or national program you try out for? I mean, or do they just notice from, you know, playing in high school and stuff? Well, I played, like, back home there's regional programs, which is just, like, um, they pick the top players from your town, you go to tryouts. From there, you can get into the provincial programs, which is kind of, like, I guess it would be equivalent to a state team. Um, from there, uh, there's uh, usually national scouts and stuff that see you. Um, so my first uh, international team that I played on was the uh, U17 team. Okay. So I was seen after U16 provincials. Um, and I, I played on that. I tore my ACL right before the competition, no now, so I couldn't go to uh, Uruguay. Um, but that was the first time I kind of got my name on the, out there. So, And then from there, I guess, they just heard I had a good college season and um, invited me to training camp. All right, so you, you don't follow as many stats in, in Canadian play, but obviously you stood out. What was it like to, to get that, hey, we want you to come try out for the national team. We want you to, to look at you at the next level. I mean, that's that's got to be impressive. Yeah, it was actually, uh, it was really good to get back into that kind of thing. Uh, actually, I wasn't even, I was invited to the initial, like the pool, like this is the, these are the group of people that we're looking at, which is about 70 people. Initially, I wasn't invited to the, um, the first training camp in, uh, in, at Stanford over Christmas break. A girl got injured, so I actually got in that way. And then um, basically just through hard work, I managed to get onto the final team, uh, onto a starting position. Yeah. Made the most of your opportunity. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, you have to take the chance when it comes, right? <laughs> uh, what's a, now, what's the future hold for you? I mean, you're playing in this U21 uh, yeah. program. What's, what's next? I mean, where, do you, where can you go from here? Well, um, our junior team qualified for the uh, Junior World Cup. Um, we don't know where that is. We know it's going to be sometime in 2013. So um, I'll basically have to remake the team for that again. And then... It should be no problem if you're going to work hard enough to steal a spot <laughs> yeah. before. Um, so... If that works out, that'll be good to go to the Junior World Cup and then um, kind of slowly get fed into the senior team program as well. And you're also uh, taking a full class load here at UMaine, yep. playing for the Black Bears. And you were gone for two weeks during this, this semester so far. How do you balance being gone for two weeks and, and playing on a national team and keeping up with the team with, with UMaine? Um, you just basically have to have a really good schedule. There's, I mean, I basically sacrifice my, most of my free time right now. I'm studying, playing field hockey right now. Uh, after fall break, I should get a little bit more of a break, <laughs> but yeah. So you played seven games so far for the Bears this season. What's it been like? I mean, is it different going away and coming back? I mean, or is it still field hockey and it's still the same game? Uh, it's definitely an adjustment, adjustment between like uh, coaching styles, um, tactics, playing, but uh, it hasn't been too hard to, to go back and forth between the two. 
you guys uh, had a really tough schedule to start the year. Yeah. <laughs> What's the, the ultimate goal for this team? I mean, is it, is it the NCAA playoffs? Is it, I mean, because it was a rough start. And you guys have really turned it on lately, but uh, I mean, what's what's the ultimate goal? The goal is always to go to NCAA's. You got to win your conference, so we got to win the America East first. But like, you have to take it small steps at a time. So we have to make sure we win our our conference game this weekend and uh, just keep playing well and improving. And then we'll see what, how it goes from there. What's going to make you a better player? Um, right now, I need to get uh, hungrier in the D, um, and just making sure that when I get those chances, I have to bury them. Yeah. And when you were considering uh, your different college options, what made you decide to uh, come to Ornome Black Bear? Um, I really liked uh, the coach. Um, I thought this place was beautiful, and it kind of reminded me of back home. So, yeah. Well, thank you very much, Holly. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Holly Stewart from the women's field hockey team here the, joining us as our student athlete of the week. Now it's time to take a look at the road cam brought to you by Bangor International Airport.